what's going on? It's been a while since I've talked to you guys, at least on the WTSP side of this channel. Like most of you, um, I've been spending some time on eBay lately, and I've gotten a few cool items. This one I do not believe is original. If it's reproduction, I don't know who reproduced it. There's no markings on it. But for six bucks, I got a gas detection sleeve. Now it is a little funky in the front. But you know how we living historians are. We like things to look original and dirty. So I got that. I've been working on my D-Day impression. I did get a reproduction rubberized gas mask bag last week. Um, I'll put it at the end of this video. So I got this. And uh, about three months ago, I did get an original um, invasion belt, i.e. life belt. So the only things I'm really missing now from a accurate D-Day impression is a haversack, the original ones. Um, because I know when I first started looking into them, I ended up getting a musette bag for my World War II. I mean, my airborne impression and my later infantry impression because when I was looking at the original haversacks, um, I know at the front, I said that they will not fit fellas over six foot two when I'm six five. So I didn't want to drop the money on something that may not fit me appropriately. So I've been considering buying an off brand one. But uh, this guy is original. And this is actually not military issue, this is civilian issue. But I want to share this with you guys because it's kind of, I don't want to say part and partial what we're dealing with the, with the CV. I'm saying CV because, well, I'm trying to get in the habit of pretending like we're monetized around here so that I can start behaving correctly so not to offend the YouTube gods. Even though I'm, I, we are not monetized, we don't have enough subs yet, so if you want to help us monetize, please hit like and uh, the bell and subscribe so that we can uh, get monetized. But I try to, you know, fake it until I make it, and I do know that some people are saying that if you use the real phrase for the thing floating around, that um, it will demonetize certain things because they're trying to limit um, inaccurate information. So anyhow, I got this. This is kind of cool. This is more for a civilian display or a home front display. But I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> The military issue of these are hard to find, but the civilian issues of these are everywhere. And I will put the price in here. I'll have to check. I got this thing super cheap. I want to say $15, maybe even $12. And what this is, is the United States government issued non-combatant World War II M1A2-II adult large gas mask. So check this bad boy out. This is what was issued to the civilians in case of the threat of gas warfare. Now this is a large by 1942 standards and I'm almost afraid to try it on because I'm afraid that the rubberized rubber is dried out but it's actually in pretty good shape now as far as i know this is original issue warning gas mask is for protection against chemical warfare agents only dispersed in free air instructions the head harness of the face piece should be adjusted only tight enough to ensure a tight fit to test for leakage place hand firmly over the inlet of the bottom of the canister to and inhale the face, the face piece will draw inward against your face if tight, if leakage occurs around the edge of the face piece, adjust the harness. To prevent eyepieces of mass from fogging, wipe the inner surface of the, each eyepiece with a clean soft cloth. Breathe on the clean surface and on the piece of, uh, I'm sorry, and on a piece of soap to moisten them. Rub the soap twice across the inside of the, each eyepiece Again, breathe on the eyepiece, rub the soap evenly over the whole surface with the tip of the finger. Handle mask, especially the eyepieces, with care at all times so the protection will be furnished when needed. I'm afraid to try this on because, as we know, people were smaller back then. I don't know if this will fit, too. 
I hate to cause panic in the parking lot of the CVS if people see me out here putting on a gas mask. Uh, but for fun, let's... I guess I probably should adjust it so that my big old head fits in it properly. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually going super big on this. And then I can adjust it accordingly. But uh, I thought this is very cool. Um, I, to be all honest, I wasn't even looking for these non-combatant ones. I was looking for the army issued ones to go with the reproduction gas bag that I recently purchased. But I couldn't find them that were affordable. I mean, they're out there. They're like hundreds of dollars. Which I'm not prepared to purchase quite yet. I'll just throw some t-shirts in there. Oh, that's cute. Got walking his dog with a pink shirt and matching pink shoes. And I'm over here getting me put on an 80 year old gas mask. <laughs> Cause I'm stupid. But anyhow, let's try this on. Let's see if we can cause a panic. Ready? Let's see if this bad boy will fit. Holy shit, it fits. This does in fact fit. This is crazy. It fits. That's pretty cool. And the rubber is in great condition. So yeah, there's my United States government issued non-combatant gas mask. Now, one of the ways I can, I know this isn't a reproduction one, it actually has a lot number inside of it. And two, the straps are beat. They're in bad shape. Almost to the point of this one's gonna break. But yeah, it's, I don't know. it'd be cool if there's a date stamp in here. I, I'll have to do some research to see when they stopped issuing these. I'm turning the pouch inside out. <clears throat> now some of you are like, why did you just smell that? 70 year old, 80 year old web material has a scent to it, especially if it was uh, chemically waterproofed. I will say this isn't quite as strong as the normal stuff, but since it's civilian issued, it's not going to be have all the weather protection on it. And as far as I can tell by looking at the metals, I'm 98% confident that this is all original be just because even the rivets on the stamps have maker's mark on them. And I don't know why there'd be such a large market to reproduce civilian versions of these, especially for what I paid for. You figure who's wanting to buy civilian reproduction non-combatant gas mask that everybody would be more interested in buying reproduction military version. This looks like an oil filter. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, so these are some of the new things I got from our World War II collection on eBay. thought it was pretty cool. Anyhow, um, stay tuned because we got a very cool World War II based living history themed project coming up here soon that I'm excited to share with you guys. It's actually stuff that I have talked about on the show <clears throat> that I haven't done yet. I've actually had the equipment sitting in my garage and I was hoping to get done for this past, well the, the living history season we're in now but got canceled due to the CV. And so now I have time to construct this thing, test it thoroughly, and get it ready for next season to add a little extra flair to our events, if you know what I mean. But, uh, yep, yeah, talk to y'all soon. You didn't see that. We're in a pandemic. I can have Starbucks. Let me alone. I forgot to show you this. The other thing I got, check this guy out. Original issue M1 car beam gun oil that fits in the ammo pouch on your M1 belt. Um, I'm gonna have to put the prices I got all this stuff on, but I got all this stuff super cheap. You know, this stuff's plentiful, by the way. And I know, <clears throat> sorry, I got the coronavirus. And I know a few videos back, I asked if anybody knew where to get replacement handles for my reproduction bayonets. I found a guy selling originals for 45 bucks. So I'm probably just gonna buy a couple of originals and get rid of the reproductions and be done with it, but yep. You got the, uh, 
I like how it says container may be carried in cartridge belts or pockets. So they give you options in the military. Uh, see, poison, do not use as food container. PL, oil lubricating uh, preservative light order department. AXS-702, revision number one. Two ounce can, uh, PO number 28-024. 44-40702.2 American Oil and Supply Company, Newark, New Jersey. So those are the little uh, World War II treats I got for my collection uh, this weekend. And uh, yep. Anywho. This later. has been a Digital 410 production. <laughs>